All right, so here we have pressure dependent valves and pressure independent valves. So we have a globe valve, is a pressure dependent valve. We have a CCV, pressure dependent. We have a QCV, pressure dependent valve. And then we have the pressure independent one. So PAQCV, the mechanical pressure independent. We have a EPAV, the electronic pressure independent valve. And we have the energy valve, okay? Uh, in each branch, we have a flow meter. So that's the ultrasonic flow meter we have for all the branches, even the ones that have uh, energy valve and EPAV, just to make sure that the flows they match. Uh, we have differential pressures or uh, sensors. We have sensors for pressure one and two, and then we get the differential pressure of that. Uh, we have a manual balancing valve for the pressure dependent valves, and we have shoot top valves. So we have one here, and we have one here too. So that's the way how the uh, branch is laid out, okay? Here we can test the difference between pressure dependent and pressure independent. So if you look here on, on this screen, here we have the web server. The web server is from the energy valve, which is connected via uh, Ethernet cable. And here we can see all the information on the energy valve. Here on this display, we have all the information from the valves on the branch. So we have the globe valve, we have the CCV, we have the QCV, pressure dependent, we have the PAQCV, EPAV, and energy valve on the pressure independent side. Uh, the curves or the lines here, uh, the orange one is differential pressure, uh, the blue one is flow, that's being measured by the flow meter, uh, and the green one is position feedback or command position, so that's not really like effective anything here just to have like information and we're gonna right now we are with the pump everything is balanced here uh, what we want is 5 GPM for all of the units and we already balanced all of the pressure dependent valves with the manual balancing valves the circuit setters and now we're gonna increase the pump up and down to see how it's gonna affect so now my pump is here everything goes up so I start to increase the pressure in the system And we're going to start to see that the orange lines, they start to go up. And you're also going to see that for the pressure dependent valves, the valve is not going to control. So you're going to have high flow there. It's an overflow. Everything is overflow now. It's not 5 GPM anymore. Now you can see here QCV 7.6 GPM, 7.9 on the CCV, 7.7 .7 on the uh, globe valve. On the pressure independent side, we can see that the PAQCV kept pretty stable. It was 5 GPM. Uh, for the EPAV, it went up a little bit, but then it compensated and went back to 5 GPM. And on the energy valve, the same thing. We can see the blue line going up, but then coming back to 5 GPM. And that's why it's important to have pressure independent valve. You're gonna always have the desired flow regardless of the pressure fluctuation. And Very good. Basically. And if we put it back uh, to normal, yeah, and if we just go, to see the coming yeah. back. You hear the pump is, is slowing down. Yeah, the pump is now going down. And you're going to see that at that point, everything is going to be good, right? The problem is we never know where the pressure is going to be in the system, right? So it can be up and down all the time and everything is gonna change. And here we are just changing the pump. We are not changing the branch, but imagine in a, in a building that you have like 100 valve plus and you close 50 of them, all that pressure is gonna go to the ones uh, that, you know, they're not pressure deep independent valves, so you're gonna impact those too. So that's a problem. Awesome, so we okay. see we're, we're back yeah. at, at normal flow. Yeah. for all the valves now and it just made a, you a, to do a small one more time? small ball no no it's good no we're good okay all right so thank you very much rodrigo yeah, yeah. thank you it was really nice having you and uh, i hope it's going to be a, a good show to present to our fellows in in quebec area all right thanks a lot bye bye